Psalm 89 verses 2 to 3, 16, 17, and 18 to 19. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord, the promises of the Lord I will sing forever, through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever, in heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Bless the people who know the joyful shout, in the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. You are the splendor of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For to the Lord belongs our shield, and the Holy One of Israel, our King. The theme of the psalm is God's promise to preserve David's kingship and to keep his descendants on the throne forever. God's promise is fulfilled when Jesus comes into the world, and he, a descendant of David, will reign for eternity. Author of this psalm is Ethan the Ezraite, a Levite leader and possibly one of the head musicians in the temple. Today's reading demonstrates why we should praise God for his many mercies. God is always faithful to his promises, see 2 Samuel chapter 7 for a listing of those promises. It was God who removed Saul, and took David from his pasture, then in time, made David king. God was with David and destroyed all of his enemies. God also promised to make David and Israel famous among the nations of the world. God promised that when David died, he would replace him with one of David's sons who would build God a temple. That was David's son, Solomon. The fulfillment of those promises continued, and it became clear, that all the promises would be fulfilled, because God is always faithful to his word. It was faith in God's promises that gave a deep sense of joy to the children of Israel. They did not feel strong in themselves, but he and his promises always to be with them has given Israel the strength to endure hardships while remaining focused on the coming joy. David, even though he was not the most perfect person, never lost faith in God, a characteristic we should all adopt. Sometimes the hardest things to believe are the only things worth believing at all. E.J. Patton, Return to Exile